This is Sean for Be Your Own Nerd. In 2024, it's still extremely difficult when you need to send a file to yourself on one of your other devices. And this could be from a Windows PC to a Mac or from a Windows PC to an iPhone or from an iPhone to a Mac or vice versa or even a Linux machine. It's still very difficult for the average computer user to do this. Sure, you could do it with a file share on your local network or your local NAS, but most people don't know how to do that. So I'm going to show you a real simple way that you can do this on all of your devices. The name of the software is LocalSend, and it's available from localsend.org. And it allows you to share files to nearby devices. It's free, open source, and is cross-platform. And I'm just going to show you here. It's decentralized, so there's no central server involved. The file transfer is completely peer-to-peer. Peer-to-peer means it goes from your device to the device that you want to send it to. It's cross-platform, so it's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. Totally free to use. There's no ads. There's no tracking. There's no hidden costs. It's open source, which means anybody can publicly view the source code. Everyone can contribute to the project. It's secure. It has end-to-end encryption which ensures that only you and the recipient can access your files. And most importantly of all, it's easy to use. It's a simple user interface. You don't need to register. Other devices are automatically discovered. So I'm going to show you something here. This is, this is where the source code is, is on GitHub. Okay, but I'm going to show you something important here, down here at the bottom. And before I do that, you can see here that this software is always updated, which is a good sign. It shows that it hasn't been abandoned that the developer or developers or people contributing to the project are no longer working on it. You can see, you know, as I record this video on November 5th, 2024, you can see it was just recently updated as a matter of just a couple hours ago. So I'm going to show you the most important thing here. And this is, it's, it is recommended to download the app either from the app store or from a package manager because the app does not have an auto update. So for example, if you download the ex- executable installer, or the DMG installer for Mac. If you download those, the app's not going to update to the latest version. So what you want to do is you want to either download it from the Mac OS App Store, the Play Store on Android, the App Store on iOS. If you have Fire OS, you can download it directly from Amazon, or you can use WinGet to get it on Windows. And I'm going to show you both ways. I'm going to show you how to do it on Mac OS, and I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows. So I'm back on the home page. I'm going to click the download button. And right now, I'm on a Mac, so we're going to start with the Mac. So we're going to download on the App Store. I'm going to click this. You're going to want to open the App Store. And as you can see here, I'm going to click Get. And then I'm going to click Install. Your computer is going to want to authenticate, so either you can use Touch ID if you have a Mac keyboard that supports it, or you can type in your password. I'm going to do Touch ID. And now it's installing. And once it installs, I'm going to click open. And here's the interface here. So I'm going to leave this on right now, and I'm going to show you how to install this from Windows. So Windows is going to be very simple as well. You're going to go to Windows, and you're going to get the WinGet. And this is the WinGet command. And to use WinGet, you're going to go into PowerShell. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So on Windows, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Search. You're going to type in PowerShell. And you're going to click on Windows PowerShell. And then what you're going to do is you're going to type win git install local send and hit enter. And as you can see here, it's automatically going to install. You want to agree to the terms. It's downloading the software directly from GitHub's. And it says here the installer will request to run as an administrator, expect a prompt. I already am running this account as my administrator account on Windows, so that's why I did not receive a prompt. But you may receive a prompt if you're running as a local user. It's okay to go ahead and hit yes when you receive that prompt. So then once it's finished, you're going to go back to search. You're going to search for local send. There's the app right there. You're going to click it. And there it is. And now it's loaded. And you're going to want to answer allow to this question. That's for the Windows firewall. Because you want to allow this software the ability to go onto your network so it can discover other devices to send or receive from. So go ahead and click Allow. And this is it here on Windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose a file. I'm just going to hit Send. And as you can see here, 
it shows Clean Pineapple, Mac OS. If I go back to my Mac OS interface, you can see here, here's Local Send running on my Mac, and you can see that this one is called Clean Pineapple. So what I'm going to do is I want this on Receive, so I'm going to leave this on Receive, and as you can see here, it's circling, so it's waiting to receive something. I'm going to go back to Windows. I'm going to go ahead and close PowerShell because we don't need it anymore. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select a file. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly make a, a text file here on my desktop just for a test. So I'm going to do a text document, test.text. I'm going to say, hello, this is a test of local send. Okay, I'm going to save that. I'm going to close it. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select file. I'm going to go to desktop because that's where I save my file. I'm going to double click it. And now I'm going to select my clean Apple, which is my Mac OS device. I'm going to select that. And here it is on my Mac. My Mac is now telling me through local send that gorgeous Mango wants to send me a file. So I'm going to click accept. Receiving files. And here it is on the window side, sending files. And now it's finished. So I'm going to hit done. I'm going to go back to the Mac. It shows done here. And if I click this, there is my file on my Mac. Hello, this is a test of local send. So that's how easy it is. It's just a very simple free piece of software where you can send stuff back and forth from your devices to your other devices. You know, so if you have a file on the Mac or some photos on the Mac and you want to send them to your Windows PC or you have some photos on your iPhone, you can send them over to your Windows PC or you can send them over to your Android device or your Linux PC. It's just a real simple, easy, and totally free way to do this. Once again, the name of the software is Local Send, and it's available from localsend.org. Once again, this is Sean for Be Your Own Nerd. You can reach out to me on my website at beyourownnerd.com. I also have a free weekly tech newsletter that I send out every Tuesday morning. It's totally free to sign up for. Thank you so much for watching, and have yourself a great tech day.